So, you want to learn the art of lockpicking, solve puzzle doors, open up chests, and follow your path to treasure and riches, I Well, you've come to the right place, as in this video, I'll show everything you need to know to become a master burglar in Hogwarts Legacy. From picking locks to solving riddles, and reveal the treasures of these intimidating chests. Without further ado, let's get right to it. Before we get started, make sure to smash the like button to support the channel, already very much appreciated, and don't hesitate to subscribe to stay the loop with future videos as a lot more is coming your way. Cheers! Alright, so first off we have the puzzle doors, which are actually a lot easier to solve than you might have thought. Once you figured out what these symbols stand for, they basically come with values and this paper has basically every single one of them, so it's going to be a lot easier to do that. So now you're ready for the input to solve the riddle basically. I definitely recommend you to also cast Revello so you can see the two locations where you want to do this. So the riddle on top is the first one. Right here we can see a six in the middle, so that is the total amount which we want to get. In the left we have a four, on top we have a grab port which is 2 so now we have 4 plus 2 is 6. Quick math no but seriously now we basically need to add 0 so that is this icon. So you're gonna match the icon in the wall right next to it so that one is set now for the second riddle we have 11 in total minus 5 is 6 minus 1 in the bottom is 5 so underneath us where we found the second input location we're gonna have to put in a spider with five legs. Then you basically come back at the door, press use or enter and voila, there you have it. The puzzle is solved and the door will open. You'll find plenty of these puzzle doors around Hogwarts. There are probably already plenty of guides out there which show the location of every single one of them, but I think it's going to be more fun to stumble upon them yourself. Anyways, let's move on to luck picking so you can open up doors and treasure chests with Alohomora. Funny thing is, right before I found this puzzle door, I was basically going to interact with Gladwin Moon right here, because I was tracking a quest called the Caretaker's Lunar Layman. He wishes to speak with you about something, and one of the rewards is the new spell Alohomora, which opens up locks both on doors and chests. I was pretty confused because the visuals don't really correspond with what is actually happening to open up the locks. It is very simple though. The only thing you have to do right here is basically turn around the outer and inner ring until you hear a click or ding, let's say. It's pretty easy to hear once you know what to focus on, but I would definitely recommend to turn up the volume of your game, wear headphones, it's gonna make this super easy. I always first turn the outer ring until I hear the sound, and then in the bottom right of the screen you will see this green light as well, then I focus on the second one, wait for the sound to pop up, make sure the position is right, and there you have it. It only takes just a couple seconds to open up these locks. So, now you are a master lock picker, can open up any door and chest basically. For level 2 and 3 locks you're gonna have to do a little bit more progression, but this will be very clear once you finish this specific quest, as you're gonna have to search for collectibles in forbidden sections of the castle. Anyways, last but not least we have the eye chest, which can be pretty intimidating, especially if you've already tried every single spell in your arsenal and they simply won't open up. But it's it's actually a lot easier than you think. Pretty early in the game you will be able to get your hands on a spell called Disillusionment. Disillusionment can be unlocked via Sebastian Sallo, the companion of House Slithering, who basically at a certain point asks you to join him on an adventure to explore forbidden areas in the castle. And Disillusionment is basically one of the spells which will be rewarded to you, but this one allows you to become invisible and if you use it when you're near the chest, it will stop following you with its eye. And if you walk away from it a little bit, it will basically reset its sight and then you can get closer to it. It will be looking around trying to find something as you are nearby, but you can actually just open it up and there you go. This chest was found in the southern part of Hogsmeade, by the way, very close to uh, the tomes and scrolls, as well as the Hawk's head. I'm going to show you guys another one, which is pretty close to this one. Oh, and we just got our hands on a page. Sweet. I am pretty certain I found one around these parts. Ah, there it is. So, uh, yes, eyes on the prize, right? We're gonna use our disillusion spell 
Just walk away a little bit from it and get back and bam, look at that. Another 500 coins by opening up the chest. Ladies and gentlemen, a big thanks for watching. That is basically everything you need to know to pick locks, open treasure rooms basically, get your hands on some pretty nice rewards. If you enjoyed watching this one, make sure to smash the like button to support the channel. And of course, if you wanna stay in the loop with future videos, don't hesitate to subscribe as a lot more is coming your way. Right now, I wanna wish you a magical day. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, peace.